Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Make a Game. So, um, I was working on a sapling just before I started, and I also, um, I'm pulling up this. I realized that this is the start scene, like, start of every server inside, uh, Lumber, and I don't like that. I don't like that I have to sit here and wait on a screen. So, uh, I would like to do a different kind of load while the, the server is making trees. But before we do that, we gotta make some trees. So the first thing I wanted to see was um, this here. Oh, hold on, let me let me go ahead and load in small slot, small slot. What's on slot five? Load that. I think that's my, my cars. Um, <clears throat> the trees themselves as they grow. Okay, so I was coming over here and I was creating this, this little guy right here. This is a sapling, all right? And I've got a script in him. Right here, I didn't even call it anything. Let's call this the, uh, oh, come here, come here. <clears throat> Tree growth script. I'll just call it tree growth. Oh, 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 wait, wait. <clears throat> Before I get started, um, I'm gonna show you this to you real quick. Um, so I showed you the thing yesterday with the trees, right? Well, I upped it from a hundred to a thousand and I made it actually generate a tree. <laughs> so this way I could see like the majority of the things that were happening. Now, a couple of things that I did not have in my script were, um, like this, the, the object itself needs to grow above where it was. So there's some stuff I didn't add in there. <clears throat> which I have added in to this, um, to the tree gen. So right here, this is where um, we take out the actual generation and we just say blah equals tree dot clone. And what I did with tree is the tree equals game dot get service replicated storage tree. And I took one of those um, little models that was generated by um, the tree script and I just dropped it in. So replicated storage, it starts out every single time the same way. I was thinking what I could do is the sapling of the trees that I want to grow. I could just drop those in and then they could randomly generate themselves. Um, I still don't like that because it's not modular. This right here, the test gen script, we can turn this into the tree placement script and that way we could pass into it variables like what are you trying to grow? Um, and you could pass in the sapling, whatever we generated, right? Pass that in. And then where are you trying to grow it? We could pass in uh, either a list or a type or a model or a folder. And then that would be where the trees themselves would grow. And then it would either pass back a, a position or it would take that object and place it for us wherever that is. And so we can turn this into a modular thing later on. Tonight, I'm just trying to work on some tree growth. This is all axes, or it's all uh, trucks. Um, hold on, let's do quit. I need axes. Um, menu, load, da, 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 da. let's go to number four. Number four is good, load. Load, 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 load. Um, what I wanted to do is chop down a couple of trees and then look around for the ones that are growing because this little area, this main area here, it's, um, it, the trees themselves, they have me kind of baffled. Um, and I think I've got it kind of figured out, but here, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, we're gonna, this is gonna cause a whole bunch of trees to go away. Do, 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 do. Hold on, I'm gonna have to get myself a, a car because we are going to drive around a bunch of times, chop down some trees. Can, wait, can I chop them in the, in the car? Cannot chop in the car. Wait, maybe I can. Hold up. Chop. Did that work? That didn't work, okay. Chop. And chop. By the way, we have to make an animation to swing an ax, because I can't use his animation. So there's one tree, there's two trees, three trees. Here we go, sapling. That's This is what I was looking for. So we have to watch the growth. So what it's doing, it's getting bigger, right? It's got an angle and the it's got leaves at the end. 
Now when this splits, we need to watch this piece to see if it still grows. I think it still grows once it gets to max height, but it grows outward. So there we go, we have max height. Yeah, this part right here is still growing outward, but it's not growing upward. So see see the height right here? It does not get any higher, it's, it's stuck at that height. Now this one lost its leaf, and these two parts, they now have leaves on the end. So we're just gonna watch this for a second. And I was trying to figure out, like, how does it know where the uh, the next split is? It's got to be generated by a, a script or a module. So this has got to be a trunk right here. And that one just split. Let's see what this one does. Is this one still growing? Yeah, this is still growing taller and taller. Until it randomly splits. Oh, there it went. It split again. Can I, I can't climb up there. Come here. Oh, there we go. Taller, but not longer. In fact, that got a little bit shorter. There we go. Shorter. Not by much, though. So, I mean, that's, that's relatively easy. Simple fix. So, this is what I was playing with and, and trying to work with inside... Um, studio just a little while ago oh that split three times one two three and i had some interesting things happen so here i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what my sapling did so the first thing i did with the sapling was i came in here and i said maximum sections all right how many maximum sections could we have maximum section height equals five uh leaf type is grass i had not touched anything to do with leaves yet um, local sections equals script dot parent. So I need a um, table of sections for the tree. Okay, so I need to know how many sections of that tree there are going to be. But in order to do that, we're just going to make a table for right now. Local growth rate equals one. So every one second, I'm going to do this growth. Uh, this will change. This is just for demo purposes. And then this is a while statement, which we're not going to use a while statement. We're going to use a modular to like call the cast and, and game time. Just follow. Um, so what we do is we wait for the growth rate. This is going to always be true. It's just going to return true. And then we're going to do for IO in pairs sections. So for everything inside the section, if the size of this object, so the first one would be the trunk, uh, is less than or uh, equal to max section height, then we do uh, its size equals size plus that size times 0.1, which I don't think is right. <sighs> Anyhow, what this does, it makes the size equal to the same size plus the size times 0.1. So a tenth of what it was. So if it's one, it's now 1.1. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Because as it grows, it's just going to, it, it's get, it'll get bigger. So um, this size keeps growing, keeps growing. The position, actually I move it up just a little bit um, by vector three of the position size y divided by two. So what this says is <clears throat> the current position equals the same position, but we want to add um, the y axis. That's not going to work if it's at an angle. We'll worry about angles in a second. <clears throat> okay, but if that piece is, is at its max height, then what we want to do is create a new branch. Now here's where I got into some trouble because these sections don't really match up with this. Because if the first section is continuously generating a new branch, we're gonna get a branch every single time after it reaches its max height. And I can show you that in the demo right here. So here's the tree. It's growing, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But once it reaches five, watch what happens. And this was my fault. I, sh I should have known better. So, 
boop. <laughs> that's that's not where we wanted you. <laughs> guys, guys, what are you doing here? What is this? What is this? This isn't. Now here's here's two of my problems. I didn't add the new part to the sections, so it doesn't know that it's a, a it's part of the section to compare and grow and all that good stuff. Second of all, the position I set uh, equal to that objects up frame plus vector. Anyhow, it's yeah, this part's all kinds of messed up. But I do want to do um, sections. Uh, colon no I have to do table table dot add add insert okay uh, and then I just could say sections comma new branch so this will add it to the section now I don't like the way this is working so I'm gonna have to take this entire thing out Boink, get out of there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add it to the workspace first. Game.workspace, I guess. And then the position is going to be equal to O dot position. Position plus we have to get halfway up. So vector three dot new O uh, O is the current section, by the way. O dot psi. No, nope, we're going to do zero for the first one. And then O dot size dot y divided by two, comma. And this thing's size plus new branch dot size dot y divided by two. And then zero. <coughs> So that should be, okay, so if I have an object, here's its position, plus half of that size. Here's the new object, so I want um, its size and half, because I want it to be right there. That should be the center position. And we want to remove this from sections. So let's call this, we're not going to call it sections. We're going to call it trunks. Trucks? No, trunks. Trunks. And then we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have local branches equals and just like that. So um, currently, the sapling is technically a branch. So uh, in branches. So for all the objects in branches, do this. And we're gonna we're gonna grow their size, grow their size, grow their size. <clears throat> table insert sections branch and then table dot remove. Uh, how do we do a remove? We do the index, index like that. Uh, oh, oh, oh! We got to do branches, branches, comma. Um, I, because we already know the index. We're on a loop. So um, this is going to be. Branches. We're going to add the new branch. We're going to remove the current branch, but we want to do table dot insert um, trunk comma i. Oh, I guess it's o. So there we go. So for all the branches, we're going to check their their size. If they're not to the maximum section height, then we're going to grow them, and then. The new branch is going to, uh, if they are at the maximum size, we're going to go through and we're going to create a new branch, which is going to be a part, which is going to be equal to that same part. Oh, um, I forgot to do this. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. New branch 
dot material material equals o dot material and then new branch dot color is it color or brick color dot brick color equals o dot brick color so that's this should keep them the same oh gosh do i have any more sections nope fire it off fire it fire at will no no don't shoot at will will's a good guy okay so here we go we are growing 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 yay we have a tree kind of I, I, that's going way too okay stop <clears throat> let's go back to the tree growth do, 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 do. so uh for we're gonna do this on each pass we're gonna do another loop of the um not the branches but the trunks themselves trunks for each pair in trunks we're going to say uh, do the same size copy Oh, oh, come on. Um, position we don't need to worry about. Size is going to be the same size plus vector three dot new. And we don't want to touch the y axis. We want to touch the x and the z axis. So it's going to be o dot size dot x divided by no times times point 0.1 comma zero for the y-axis and then o dot size dot z times point 0.1 so same size only a little bit bigger there we go and we don't need to worry about the if statement there Leave it, leave it, leave it. It's good. Oh wait, um, let's see. Maximum sections is three. Uh, I'm just gonna go two two units high. So this should be a little bit better. Once it's big enough. Whoa! Oh, we got a new sprouty thingy. It looks kind of weird. But it, it worked, sort of. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Look, 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 look. Woo! We are growing. It's not pretty right now. Oh, gosh. That is... Mm -mm. Ooh, that's okay. Okay. It works, kind of. That does not look like a natural tree. <laughs> oh gosh, what have I done? It's glorious. <laughs> oh no, oh no, the parts it's creating is not, they're, they're not anchored. <laughs> Stop, tree growth. All right, let's go back into uh, the new branch. Uh, new branch dot anchored equals true. <laughs> wow. Hey, I've taken up 18 minutes of your time <laughs> by creating a tree that doesn't work. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Okay, okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. That is definitely... Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh oh it looks like my branch has, has come off it's come loose okay so stop let's uh let's change this because this size it's nice but going it's going too much so times point zero one so it's really not going to be that much of a difference but it'll still 
get bigger. Uh, this is size 0.25. So, okay, that is getting larger. And then uh, our position seems to be slightly off. So this position divided by two, this position divided by two. Uh, let's go the new size divided by three, divided by two. Um, can we take this? Yeah, let's take this whole amount here. We'll just minus point zero two five. Maybe. Uh oh, could not fetch. Does that mean my tree doesn't grow? Because my body's not here. Because my body is not in the game, trees don't grow. Oh, they do. it's growing. That's fine. But it doesn't look like the other ones. This part's not growing very well. And this is too far up. Did it start out too far up? Okay, it didn't start too far up. It's the position, it's the move position. This part right here. Uh, no, this part right here, the size. New vector size divided by two times 0.1. If the size is less than the size equals. Okay, so. Times 0.1. Okay, if we do that. Equals its current position. What is times? Okay, so we're all, we don't need to go up a point one. We need to go up half of a point one, which is a point zero five. So that should work, maybe. I should keep it on the ground because we're taking the size. For those for those of you math geeks and nerds out there like me, um. What we're doing is we're taking the size times 0.1 or 0.25. So we're actually getting a 0.1. Okay, let me explain this here. So we're taking the size and we're doing times 0.1. That means the the y axis is times 0.1. So it's whatever the size was times 0.1, which is that. I only need half of that. So half of the 0.1 would be 0.05. That tree's doing well. I'm glad that you have branches and leaves and stuff and properties like chop. Hmm. Which, by the way, I'm gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna have we're we're gonna have to make a cut script because this right here. Ugh. Oh. So just so you know, when you chop this, okay, so see this piece right here, actually, let's do this. This piece right here, this is one part. So when I chop it right here, it's going to make, it's going to destroy that part and make two new parts uh, of equal lengths where their total is the same amount as this part is right now. It's also going to add two additional parts, which are the faces, hold on. See this face right here? It's gonna add two of those. One to this side, one to that side. So that right there is a new part with a new face. That right there is a new part with a new face. In fact, that, that part was generated as well. So that has three parts. So anyhow, <sighs> lots of good scripts. Good, good stuff. Gonna have to figure them out. And that's what we're doing. One section at a time. <laughs> it's good to see that these are all still still kind of growing. I can't climb it yet. I can't climb the tree. But that's just that's gonna keep going because I don't have a a stop section for the, the middle sections. 
So. <laughs> the infinity tree. It continuously grows with no stop in sight. <laughs> so, okay. The next thing that we could possibly do is set this to an angle. Now, this is the part that gets kind of confusing to me because I'm not all that good with, like, trigonometry. Which is pr pretty much... No, no, it's not trigonometry. It's going to be angles. So, I don't know. Okay, so, um, to start off, let's do this. We're going to choose a random, random max angle. Random... Okay, um, local... Random angle uh, No, let's not do uh, Minimum angle is that angel? No, that's angle equals zero and then local max angle equals <clears throat> What do I want five degrees ten degrees what are what are these degrees at? What, what angle do you think? 45 degrees? 45. I think 45 degrees. What do you always see the, the tree start out as? I mean, you don't see anything super majorly different. So, um, I'd say, let's go 15. 15. 15 degrees. That would be half of uh, 45, I think. No, that's not half of 45. Okay, Google. What is 45 divided by 2? The answer is 22.5. 22.5 would be our half angle. Which? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which, coincidentally, if you take... Okay. Okay. So 360. 6 plus 3 is 9. Right? Plus 0 is, is still 9. 180. 8 plus 1 plus 0 is 9. Um, 90 degrees, 9 plus 0 is 9. Uh, 45, 4 plus 5 is 9. 22.5, 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. <sighs> okay, Google. What is 22.5 divided by 2? The answer is 11.25. 11.25, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All the numbers add up to 9. Illuminati confirmed. No, it's a it's a math trick, I think. <laughs> okay, so we have a maximum angle. Um, to start off our thing, before the while, we're just going to take and give it a random 180 rotation. So, um, uh, script dot parent dot orientation equals current script dot parent okay that's no that's way too much all right um start tree let's just do this start no this tree equals script dot parent there we go we'll make it local why not so then um give random wow Random angle and rotation on y axis. Axis. <clears throat> so this tree dot orientation, it does not give me. Okay. Well, that sucks. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do this because I can't spell orientation. Orientation equals current script dot parent dot orientation plus uh, vector three dot new zero comma math dot random negative 180 com comma positive 180 so that's just going to swivel the XY coordinate like this or no just the Y coordinate like that comma zero. I guess we could go negative 360, right? 
no, negative 360 would be all the way around facing that way, and then that'd be positive 360. So negative 180, positive 180. Um, so that will that will give us a full circle one way or the other. We could just do it times pi. That'd be good as well. Um, and now we want script dot parent dot orientation equals script dot parent dot orientation plus vector three dot new. And this one we're going to do math dot random zero comma um, what do we call it max angle minimum angle maximum angle so m minimum angle maximum ink wow that is not what I typed <clears throat> max angle comma zero comma zero okay so we just want to tilt it on the x-axis that's it because I don't want to go in like that and is that global or is that local there we go try that let's see which direction our tree faces did it rotate at all I ah, rotated a little bit like a true tree does. But now the tree growing out of it is... <laughs> okay. So if... <laughs> okay, stop, 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 stop. <clears throat> so the tree growth script kind of works right there. And uh, let's do this. Control H. I want to replace script dot parent with um, this tree so uh, replace 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 there we go so this tree dot orientation <laughs> so if we create a new tree I'm gonna have to take that angle into consideration and that's going to take a lot more math than I'm willing to put out in this video at the moment. Because if I tilt a tree like this, right, and uh, the current position that's supposed to appear is supposed to be up here, I now have to swivel it over here. So it was right here, and now we have to come over to this position. So that's a trigonometry question. I think it's trigonometry. Is it trigonometry? It's angles. And, and rads and stuff. <sighs> so I guess um, if I were to take the Y size and the Z, or no, the Y size and the X size, because we're, we're tilting on the X axis only, right? And I add those two together, I would get this point up here, right? But I can only go to that direction so there's a formula for that and I'll have to figure it out so um, MS paint <clears throat> man I love paint so here's my angles right and let's say I've got uh, one and one right and what I would do is I would take these, match them up, right? But my height is only here, right? So my length is actually only going to be right about here. Hmm. I have to figure out what this arc is, right? Here. Turn that green. That was a horrible arc, but you get the idea. Right there. There we go. Blink. Use a little bit of a race right here. There we go. That's good. So that angle right there is what I'm going to have to figure out because this right here 
becomes the new central point of where you want things to grow from. Now I didn't look, but was the tree actually growing like this? Hmm. Here, let's turn up the maximum sections. Let's, let's turn down the growth rate to point, point 0.25, so it's really fast. And the maximum height, max sections, max section height to 10. Let's look at this and see what it does. This should be growing really fast. Okay, and it's, it does have a random rotation. Yeah, see? So we need to figure that one out. And it's not rotating the new the new section at all. Anyhow. Oh my gosh. I didn't see, I didn't even see what time it was. But now we have a slight angle to our tree. Yay. Also I'm going to have to change the material cuz right now it's got uh, borders on it and stuff. But anyhow. You can come inside the game, check it out, come check out the uh, the cool little tree growth thing simulator from yesterday. I got it pushed up to a thousand. That thing's crazy. Looks like a bunch of little broccoli. Oh, if I got my camera down here, I'd be like, come to Lumberland. Come see the amazing mini forest. Ooh, that would be a great screenshot right there. <laughs> Lumberland. <laughs> we can't call it Lumberland. Lumberland's taken. See? Lumberland. <laughs> oh, that thing's this is getting out of control. That's that's crazy. That's oh wait, can I Oh 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 no Hey there we go <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk Simulator See? I did create a game. Oh no, it's gotten too big. Oh 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 come on. There we go. Oh 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 no no <laughs> Oh gosh. No. <laughs> Look at the trees at the bottom. No. It's going to take over the entire server. We need to have a maximum stop range. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of cool though. It's still growing out. It's like growing out of the ground now. Oh. At least it's not growing any taller, you know? That was that was one of my worries. <laughs> Just let it keep growing. <laughs> Something wrong here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. You can actually see the the exponential sign right there. X exponent. You would have to turn it on its side though. Anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I hope you learned something. I hope uh, I've, I've learned something. And I'm going to continue to grow this game and, and make things. And hopefully it doesn't get destroyed by the infinity tree here. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro. Thank you.